after the April 15th counterfeit raid at the Fox Plaza swap meet, vendors and frequent customers reflect on the Sunday Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Homeland Security investigation descended on the swap meet. Reactions range from feelings of surprise. Well, it came out of nowhere because uh, just a whole bunch of cops just all of a sudden came in. They like came in and they were taking pictures and they were taking all the merchandise and they took they took the person that was selling it and everybody was just like ah! <laughs> everybody was in shock. Two expectations. Uh, pues sí, sí sabíamos desde desde antes que estaba viendo piratería porque se veía que el el 20% 30% de los locatarios eran discos piratas, ropa pirata, tenis piratas, etc. Tarde que temprano algo así iba a pasar porque estaban vendiendo cosas que, que no estaban permitidas. The rate significantly affected the attendance of the weekly slot meet the next Sunday. The clientele actually slowed down. There's not as many people as there were before. La semana pasada disminuyó la gente que vino, pero lo que es esta semana pues parece que otra vez la gente está respondiendo, aunque Esperemos que las ventas sigan como eran antes. La gente dejó de venir por eso, porque ya no, ya sabían que no iban a poder venir por la película, el CD o la bolsa, pero el, el domingo pasado la venta sí bajó mucho. Oscar Hegelson, Assistant Special Agent in charge of the ICE HSI offices in El Paso, explains that the importance of the raid is related to the funding of cartels in Juarez. Traditionally, the cartels were, were it was before the, the big war erupted in Mexico between the cartels, everybody was making money. The loss of that revenue that they traditionally had, they looked for other rackets or other crimes in order to supplement that income. The decision to descend on Fox Plaza was made after weeks of investigation. From the intelligence that, that, we, that we've seen and, and we've uh, processed, in this area, they're simply charging a quota to operate, uh, for allowing the merchants to operate here, but in other areas of Mexico, the actual uh, counterfeit and the uh, market has been taken over by the cartels themselves. It, it's a combination of things. We, we get our intel from our sources, we get even tip line uh, information, and even our surveillance, put it together and see where where our, our resources would be uh, would be better allocated. And it just so happened that it being one of the biggest, you know, uh, swap meets, then, you know, it's, it's only obvious that we would concentrate our efforts there. That's not to say that there's not other investigation going on. Hegelsiv asserts that the consequences of buying such merchandise is more than people are usually aware of. We're trying to educate the people that it's not a victimless crime. Uh, and it, it's, it has a direct link and you're, you're directly affecting lives because, you know, that coach purse that you bought, you know, those, those $15 that go to the cartel could have bought, you know, that, that round of ammunition that killed an innocent person in, in, in Juarez. It's, it's, it's a direct link we can't. You know, we can't just turn a blind eye and say, well, you know, it's, it's a victimless crime or I'm just getting this purse for, you know, uh, I'm a student, I can't afford this, I'm just going to buy this. And just if, if people would realize what the impact is, uh, you know, those vendors wouldn't exist because it wouldn't, people wouldn't, there wouldn't be a demand. If you're feeding the animal and if you're, you're constantly feeding it money and you're, you're supporting it, you know, you don't know how big it's going to get. You know, you don't know how big the cartels are going to get. Or there's a definite potential for, for, for spillover. According to the regulars, some of the vendors who were selling counterfeit goods are now back and still selling the same wares. The same people that, that got all their stuff taken away, they're already back again. Al ver que ya no volvieron a venir, regresaron otra vez los piratas y a ver cuánto dura. Many vendors declined comments.